Quick revision video on the ionic product of water, KW. So we'll start with some KW essentials. KW is the dissociation constant for water, so there's the equilibrium for that. KW equals the hydrogen ion concentration multiplied by the hydroxide ion concentration. And at 25 degrees C, KW has a value of 1 times 10 to the minus 14 moles squared dm to the minus 6. And that value is on the data sheet. In pure water, the hydrogen ion concentration is the same as the hydroxide ion concentration. And you can see that's going to be from the one-to-one -one dissociation we've got here. We can simplify KW to the hydrogen ion concentration squared. And so the H plus concentration is the square root of KW. Alkaline solutions have an H plus concentration less than the hydroxide ion concentration. Acidic solutions, it's the other way around. And for neutral solutions, the hydrogen ion concentration is the same as the hydroxide ion concentration. So on this slide, we're going to use this statement here. The dissociation of water is an endothermic process. We're going to use that to see how pH of water changes when you change the temperature. So there's the dissociation again, and the delta H would have a positive sign. So if you increase the temperature, that's going to favor the forward reaction because it's endothermic. So KW is going to increase because there's more dissociation. So the knock-on effect of that is the hydrogen ion concentration will increase and therefore the pH will decrease. We need to be mindful of the fact that the water is still neutral. As long as it's pure, the hydrogen ion concentration equals the hydroxide ion concentration. So we'll try a quick calculation on that. Calculate the pH of pure water at 40 degrees C given that Kw equals the value on the screen now. So there's the solution, I'll just quickly talk through that. So our starting point is the hydrogen ion concentration equals the hydroxide ion concentration because it's pure water. So we can simplify the KW expression to hydrogen ion concentration squared. So therefore the H plus concentration is the square root of KW. So we square root the value given in the question and then minus log for the pH and we get 6.77. Just beware that the water is not acidic, it's still neutral because the hydrogen ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration are still the same. We can also use the KW expression to calculate the pH of a strong alkali, so we'll have a look at that now. So for example, calculate the pH of that concentration, sodium hydroxide solution, at 25 degrees C. So there's the full dissociation for sodium hydroxide. It completely ionizes in water. So the sodium hydroxide concentration will be the same as the hydroxide ion concentration from the one-to-one -one ratio in there. So if we bring in the KW expression now and rearrange it for the hydrogen ion concentration, we know both KW and the OH- concentration. So we put them in. So H plus concentration equals that. So the pH is the minus log of that, which is 11.70. So we'll finish with this question here. We've got to calculate the pH of the solution formed at 25 degrees C when a certain quantity of acid is reacted with a certain quantity of an alkali. So first thing is going to be to write the equation. And then if we put the moles in, so I've got that from concentration times volume for each of those chemicals. The moles of H plus and the moles of OH minus are going to be the same because the, for every mole of acid we've got a mole of H plus and for every mole of alkali we've got a mole of OH minus ions. So the next thing we need to do is look at how the moles compare and work out what's going to be left over. So the OH minus ions are in excess so the final solution is going to be alkaline. So the moles of hydroxide ions left is going to be the difference so that number there. That's in a total volume of 50 cm cubed, so we need to turn that into a concentration now, moles over volume. So we've got that concentration of hydroxide ions. So the H plus concentration is going to be the KW at 25 degrees C divided by the concentration of the hydroxide ions. That gives us 1 times 10 to the minus 12, and then we minus log that 
and we get a pH of 12. And obviously if the H plus ions had been in excess it would have been a more straightforward calculation because you've got your moles of H plus, you turn that into a concentration, moles of H plus over the volume that they're in, and then you just minus log straight away to get the pH.